Aloha guys, welcome in. David Tatera here again with CryptoTutorials.org. Today I'm going to give you a tour of Farm Hero, uh, the, the DeFi swapping, farming, gaming NFT site that's been designed to go with the Hero token. Uh, this is the Binance chain side of it. I'll, I'll go over Honor Token, the Polygon side of it as well. But if you're interested in learning about how this whole DeFi game uh, site works, do me a favor, click on the like button down below to let YouTube know you appreciate all the work I'm doing. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna come around and see all the cool new videos as I do them every month about new tokens. Uh, and let's get started. Warning, I am not a financial advisor and this is not investment advice, seek a professional. Hey guys, before I jump in on this video, I wanted to let you know that I have been finding some absolutely phenomenal airdrops lately. In fact, some of them are so good that I'm gonna start doing videos and making sure to share them with you so you don't miss out on this opportunity. But there's never gonna be a way I can share all of them. There's so many going on that you really need to be able to do the research yourself. So do me a favor, go to getmyfreecrypto.com, uh, put in the web address right down there at the bottom of the screen getmyfreecrypto.com. There's going to be a, a link right there when you go and you can sign up for our $97 Air, Airdrop Masterclass, totally free. Zero cost to you right now. You can learn how to pick up tokens on your own for free, uh, how to get tokens just sometimes for owning tokens. So it's a really easy thing, getmyfreecrypto.com. You don't wanna miss out on this. All right, so this is Farm Hero. Um, as you can see, it works on both Matic and Binance Smart Chain. You've got Honor Token on the Matic side and the Hero Token on the Binance Smart Chain side. We are going to join on the Binance Smart Chain right now. I'm going to show you the Hero Token. I will go back and do another one um, for Honor Token as well. But let's jump on in and take a look at the Hero Token, the Binance one. So as you can see, a couple different games are going on. We've got the auction game ending in 0.34 BAUSD closing in 14 minutes. Let's take a quick look at this. Uh, the highest bid, it looks like, is 50. I cannot, and uh, I have 50 hero would be a little over a dollar. So I have no idea why someone would bid a dollar to get 34 cents. I cannot figure out this game for the life of me. Please, someone comment in the comments below and explain to me why anyone would play this game. Why anyone would pay a dollar to get 34 cents. I don't understand it. Let's look at some of the other games. <laughs> okay, let's go with the FOMO game. This one I have not put in on because it seems like kind of a long project. Um, it's got 22 hours left until it goes. So, and there's some people that have put some some serious money into this, you know, or, or have a round ending prize right now. Okay, looks like that person's getting $6,000 at the end of this round. So this one's got some serious money into it if you can get in and, and get the thing, but um, it looks like we may have to get some keys as well to be able to do this, all right? And then our last game, the roll game, um, you're getting about 20 cents. It's got 40 minutes left. I don't know how much it actually takes. So let's connect our wallet and see what happens here. Please sign in the browser and MetaMask extension. Okay, so connect with our MetaMask. I'm gonna say yes. And we have connected them officially, okay. And let's see, let's try entering the game. Okay, I'm signing to agree to look at it, okay. So roll with one hero. A hero is two cents, I'm gonna roll. Let's roll. Insufficient balance, what? My balance of hero should be sufficient. There it looks like I have heroes, okay. Yes, see, there we go. It shows it up that I've got some heroes now. Roll with one hero. Insufficient balance. Hmm. Do I need some keys?
No, that's not gonna help me. Okay. Deposit hero. Okay, here we go. Let's deposit five hero into this game. That's what I had to do. Another gas fee. Let's reject this because it's probably going to be the same if I do 20 of them, right? Let's just do 10 of them. I don't know. Is my gas fee the same? My gas fee is the same. Okay. So I have officially submitted 10 from my MetaMask to whatever in the world this is. Now I should be able to roll with them. Yeah, nine, five, four, one, nine. I, I think that's a good number. Okay, so I guess that's how the rolling game works. Um, we'll see what happens here at the end if I get anything back or I don't know. Uh, look, I thought I did good. Uh, I think I'm in second place. I think I have the second place roll. <laughs> I don't know. I might win back three cents for the two cents that I put in. Is that what this is going to do for me? That's going to give me back three pennies for my two pennies? I'm not sure. Let's see what happens the rest of the way. Okay. Um, FOMO game. I have to get keys. How do I get keys? Hero to... Key, okay. Hero to key now. Wow, make this a little bit complicated. But if I put 50 heroes in, how many keys do I get? I should get 20 keys. All right, let's get 20 keys. Yes, I understand there's a fee for everything. And approve transaction. Approve transaction, okay. Some moment here I should show up as having a key. Okay, finally found the token address, or the contract address. That was really complicated. Now, I think I can add it to the key. Okay. But it says I have no key. Hero to four keys. Okay, let's try this swap again. All right, that one went through. Okay. So it looks like I have some keys now. They should show up here soon, I'm guessing. Alright, I have my keys. 
keys invest keys to reset timer let's do one key confirm so it looks like I put in a key I think these people have put in 150,000 keys so there's some people who have substantially more in there than I do but I put in a key I think reset timer Confirm. I don't know why it's not showing. Oh, there you go. Down a key, and I got one key in there for a round ending prize of four cents. Okay. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to see what happens with my tokens. Uh, I got a little bit in that game, I got a little bit in the next game. All right, so I went back and I learned a few more things um, looking over the site and kind of feel like I have a little better idea what's going on with it. Um, but so the yield farms are here. Um, these you earn pretty good rates coming out if you want to yield, lock any, lock it up. But everything you lock up there, you've got this like three months that you've locked it up. Otherwise, you get a massive penalty. So you may get paid out a really nice sum of hero and a decent amount of Binance, but you're locked up for three months. Or you can just get your uh, BUSD portion of it and not be locked up, but then you're not getting the really high rates. Um, and then as far as the games went, yes, some are better than others. So um, the auction game, this one I was in earlier. Um, I am the $75 bidder here but someone bid 100 over me. Now I could bid another round. If I did, this timer would reset back to 15 minutes and whoever um, has the highest bid at the end gets it, but everybody else just loses. You know, this person and I both just lost what we put in there as a bid. We don't get it back. So it's a good deal. If this person gets it, they're gonna be very happy. They're gonna spend 100 hero, which would be um, about two and a half dollars and they're gonna get $12. And so they're going to be stoked on it. Um, we'll see. I may try some more of these later on down the road. I kind of think this might be one of the better ways to make something on it. Uh, as far as the other game goes, the roll game, um, I did have some luck there. I won again on another round. It was for a little more. It was like a 12 BUSD thing. And that's one thing I noticed. Rolls are the same price, but the, the board changes the value of each. So... Sometimes it's not worth it to enter into one. It's worth it to enter another. There was another one that was like for 15, and I went for it a bunch of times and just never got a good roll. Um, I tried like 20 or 30 rolls, I think. But um, that, that's the way it works. And at this point, I've won $2.99 in BUSD off of playing that. So I think you can play the games to try to win, and what happens is that causes the deflationary end of it. It causes the burning of the tokens. Uh, you can also farm if you think that it's going to stick around for a long time. Um, the, the staking farming numbers are really good. And if you want to buy the NFTs, they get even better. You can get boosters on them that put you up to some really astronomical numbers. The hard part with that is you're locking everything up pretty much for three months. If you decide to bail early, um, you're losing half of your, of everything that you've gained. So that's a pretty big loss. All right. Let's take a quick look back, see what happened with that auction game. Did somebody upbid it? Nope. Nobody did. That $100 bid won it for this person. So they're stoked. They received 9.77 BUSD prize. Oh, because a portion of it goes on to the next round. You don't get the full prize. Uh, next round starts in 48 seconds, and we'll see how much that round ends up being. But um, there you go. Somebody won it, and they're happy, and they, they spent $2.50 and got $10. So that seems to be kind of the way this thing is set up. Um, if you have any questions, shoot them in the comments. Do me a favor, click the like and the subscribe. This was kind of a, an expensive project, so uh, getting a good result on YouTube will make it feel like it was worth it. But I want to keep trying these out and sharing them and explaining to you because some of them I hear are really good and you can make a lot of good money on them. So um, as I find those, I will definitely explain them to everybody. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Aloha.